Factor by grouping. When shall we use factor by grouping? Well, let me tell you. Whenever we have a polynomial that has four terms or more, then try to use factor by grouping. So you see that we have four examples, and let's get started with the first one. We'll see that we have six, negative two, plus twenty-seven, and then minus nine. Those numbers they don't have a common factor, and we cannot factor out any common variable either. So this right here, it's a good choice. To use factor by grouping, and by that we mean to just break down the expression into the first two terms and then the last two terms, like so. If we ignore the last two terms, can we factor something out here? Yes. In terms of the number six and minus two, we can factor out a two. So let's put that down, and then x to the third power, x to the second power, we can factor out x square, namely x to the smaller power. Okay. And then here, originally was six. We took out two. Just think about it as six divided by two, which is three. So we have three left. X to the third power. We took out two of them, so we have x to the first power. Minus. Well, this is out already, but remember we still have the one, right? So three x minus one inside like that. Now, twenty-seven x minus nine. In terms of number, we can factor out nine. Here's one little thing that you have to remember, though. Whenever we do factor by grouping. Especially, you see this right here. The operation that separates the first two terms and also the last two terms. You always want to write that down regardless. Just write it down right away. It really matter later on when you deal with the negatives. But anyway, in terms of the number twenty-seven and nine, we can factor out the nine, and then we'll just have three x and then minus one. Yeah, okay. Twenty-seven divided by nine is three, and then we have the x. Nine divided by nine is one. Cool. And then we see this and that are the same, so we can factor the out again. So this right here becomes three x minus one. And for the second thing, we just have the leftover, which is the two x square plus. So I will just keep the plus sign in blue. Nine. And then we are done. This right here is actually not factorable, so we just stop right here. That's it. Now for the second one,、mm, again, cannot factor out any common number. So let's go ahead and just look at the first two terms, last two terms, this and that. Well, we can factor out three x and the second power, and、uh, here we see x and then plus two. Yeah. Now here's the deal. This is a minus. Bring that down right away, and now we see the five and ten. Just look at the number. We are going to factor out a five, and then what we have next is, well, originally this is a negative five x. That technically, if you just look at it like this, but we took out the negative right here already, so this will give us just an x. And then this right here was originally negative ten, but we factor out a、uh, negative five, so negative ten divided by negative five shall give us plus two. And if you distribute this backwards, you see negative five times x. It does give us negative five x. Negative five times two is negative ten. So we know this is correct. Now we just continue. Again, they are the same. Not all the time, though. You know, because these are the factorable ones. Of course, they are the same. Then let's just go ahead and bring that down. X plus two. Factor it out. Put it on the, the outside first, and then we have the rest, which is the three x. Square and then minus the five. Yep, just like this. All right, for this one, hmm, still no common factor. It's all right. Factor by grouping this and that. Okay, fifteen and thirty-five. Five goes into fifteen and five goes into thirty-five, so we can factor out the five, and also the x. So let's go ahead and factor out five x, and then. Fifteen divided by five is three. Originally, we have x squared, but we took out one of them, so it's just x left. All right. So this is negative thirty-five divided by five. We have negative seven, and the x is out already. All right. Now this right here is a plus. So I'm going to just write that down because we are going to factor out past the number. So that's exactly why I keep emphasize、right? the sign in the, in the middle. Anyway, we see we have what? This is nine, and this is negative twenty-one. 
streets in common, we can factor out the street. So let's go ahead and do that. And we do have this y, and likewise that y, we can also factor that out, like this. And we get what? 9 divided by 3 is 3. x is left inside, and the y is on the outside already. Alright, so this is negative, 20, negative 21 divided by 3, we have minus 7, and then the y is out already, so that's what we have. Hey, they are the same. Again, because <laughs> these examples are factorable ones, that's why. Anyway, this and that, put it on the outside, like this, right? 3x minus 7, and then times the other one, which is 5x plus 3y. And then we are done for that. Alright, I kind of wanted to stop the video now and just tell you guys to, hey, do the last one on your own. Maybe you can pause the video right now and try it first before you see the solution. How's that? I'll give you guys 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, now I'll show you guys the solution. But make sure you try this though. Anyway, right here, let's see. I'm just going to proceed. You see that this right here? Hmm. 4 goes into 12, and it goes into 20 as well. And we will just factor out a 4, also an x. And then we get 3x minus 5. For this, well, here we have a negative that's in the middle. So let's go ahead and bring that down. We cannot factor out any number, but you see the y and y is in common, so we can factor out the y. And then we will have, be really careful. Right here, we took out the negative and also the y, we will just have the 3x left. Here, originally it was positive, but we took out a negative, so this right here actually becomes a negative. Again, positive divided by negative gives you negative. The y is on the outside already, so we just have to write down the 5. Then you guessed it, this and that, once again, it's the same. Alright, so let's go ahead and put down 3x minus 5 times 4x minus y. And of course, the minus will once again be in blue. And then we are done. So hopefully this helps. If you guys need more help, you guys can check out my other videos and subscribe for future videos.